What up YouTube? Welcome back to my Today Family Vlog where I talk about gym life, motivation, encouragement, and hopefully pass along something that means something to you to get your butt off the couch, find your Today Family, and do something about it. Last video we talked about negativity, so now I feel like we need to talk about positivity. I know this is my second video in one week. You guys are like, oh my gosh, Zach, why are you doing another video? That's so crazy. You haven't done one for weeks and now you're doing two in one week. I know, I know. But when creativity, or not even creativity, just a thought that you want to pass along strikes, you got to pass it on. You got to record it, right? Don't wait for the some days to come around. Don't wait for the one days. Find your today finally. Now, I feel, my personal opinion, anything in life, no matter what it is, there's two ways to take it. A positive way and a negative way. Comment down below if you, uh, if you agree with me. Staying hydrated. I just got out of the gym, so. Tired, it's hot, I need food. Like I said, when there's something you want to pass along, should it pass along. Okay, positive, negative, or happy, sad, right? Now just recently, I had someone who's close to me tell me, because my last video I talked about how I was going to quit YouTube and how I just wasn't feeling it anymore and how I was just discouraged and down on myself. And I, it came up that I was going to quit uh, making YouTube videos. And he said, he's like, quit YouTube? You didn't even start YouTube. Now there's two ways to take that. One, the way he meant it. Or two, in a positive manner. Now of course the way he meant it was like, what do you mean you're gonna quit? Like you never even started, despite that she made 12, 13 videos already that weren't that good. Like, what do you mean quit? Like, just, okay, whatever. That's the way he meant it. Or the way that, that I took it, and I'm choosing to take it, is that even though I've done 12, 13 videos, I haven't really started YouTube. Like, it's just the beginning of the journey. And that goes for anything, too. Like, just because you work out for one week, two week, three week, and you don't start seeing that results, you can't just give up on it. Like, it's gonna take time. Same thing with, uh, with these YouTube videos that, I, that I'm making. But, to my point, there was a good way or a bad way to take it. More importantly, it comes down to how you choose to receive the message. Or, third option, choose to ignore it altogether. If you know that something's being said to you that isn't beneficial to you, ignore it and keep doing what you're doing because if you believe in it, and it's good for you, and it's not hurting anybody else, then why does it matter what other people think? And this is the hardest thing that I'm struggling with too. This is something that I've been, that I was working on for these last couple weeks is that I care too much about what people think of me and I want them to think positively of me. But honestly, if you're making those three things, positive change, it's good for you, not hurting anybody, people will notice, the people who are ready to notice. In my last video we talked about uh, when timing meets opportunity. The people who are there are gonna see you. And when they see you, they're gonna start, uh, I mean, admiring you, or looking up to you, or asking you questions, or, or just inquiring in you, wanting you to help them, right? And that's not gonna be everybody. We talked about that. Not everybody's at that point where they wanna receive it, okay? If you follow me on Instagram, I recently posted a, a, a picture. It's, it's based after that saying, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make a drink. And I've known that, that saying, I'm sure everybody knows that saying. But I haven't really thought about it or understood it until recently. Like, you can, you can know everything in the world. And you can know how to, the, the steps to get a person to where they say they want to be. And you can give them all this information, all this steps, this play by play. Here's how you should do it. Here is how you can achieve your goals. But if they're not ready to drink, they're going to continue to stay thirsty. And then they're going to make, then they're going to start getting mad at you because you chose to do something different. You chose to do something about it and to make a change in your life. But focus on the positive. 
Because once you focus on that negative, you go into a downhill spiral. And that's exactly what I did in these past couple weeks. And trust me, it was not fun. I did not enjoy it. I was down on myself. And honestly, I was just looking for, I was looking for some of my own guidance, but I wasn't ready to find my own guidance. Like I follow, I follow Gary V on Instagram. If you guys don't know who he is or haven't followed him, whoa, <laughs> or haven't followed him, take a look. He's, he's, he's awesome. His videos would pop up, how to become more motivated, how to stay focused. And I would just skip over him. Because again, I wasn't ready to hear it. Now, when I was just doing my list session at the gym, I threw on one of his videos, 15 minute video. He just talked about positivity and happiness and he was just talking about everything that I needed to hear again. Common sense stuff, is it stuff that you've heard already? Yes, but again, timing and opportunity. A couple weeks ago, I wasn't in that place. I wasn't ready. Today though, today I have so much to be happy about. I have friends who care about me. I have a wife who loves me no matter what I do. <laughs> I... Life's, life's good, no matter how, how bad you think your life is. I challenge you guys, right now, whatever you're doing, think of five, at least five positive things that have happened to you today. Ignore everything else, focus on five things. If you want, put those five things in the comments below. I would love to hear them. But after you think of those things, focus on them. Focus on how they made you feel. Focus on, 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 did they make you smile? Did they, uh, did they make you laugh? Focus on those. That's gonna help you get through your day. Positivity. Let me know if you agree with this. Positivity leads to happiness. Like this video if you, if you agree with that. Positivity leads to happiness. Now let me ask you this. Do you feel that the word happiness is used too much nowadays? Oh, that makes me happy, this makes me happy, this Big Mac makes me so happy, which it might. <laughs> Honestly, working out is making me happy again. Counting my macros making me happy. Getting back into a, a routine of positivity is making me happy. But I challenge you again. So your first challenge, think of five positive things right now. Focus on them and how they make you feel. My next challenge for you, instead of using the word happiness, I want you to think of what that situation made you feel. Be very specific about it. So when I see somebody at the gym for say the first time or someone who's actually trying out in the gym, that gives me, that gives me an excitement. It makes me happy, but more so it makes me excited. It gets my, my heart like, yes, like you do it. It makes me want to cheer for them. That's the positivity I'm talking about. Think of whatever the situation is. Think about how it makes you feel. Don't just say it makes me happy. Be very specific with yourself. That way you know exactly what you're looking for. What makes you happy. Because what makes me happy is not going to be necessarily what makes you happy. And honestly, going to the gym isn't for everybody. But it's not going to make everybody happy. Do I feel it can? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Especially if that's one of your goals. Is it for everybody though? No. So in that case, find something that makes you happy. I mean, making, making pottery makes people happy if that's your passion. I've tried it, it's awesome. It's not a passion of mine though. I, I, I can't do it every day. And that's perfectly fine. Like live your passion and focus on why it's your passion. Positivity. Close out this video guys, appreciate you guys watching, like this video if you agree with anything, five positive things, and be more descriptive instead of saying happy. I will see you guys probably after Greece, because we have Greece coming up in 10 days from today, then we're gone for 12 days, so my next video will probably be Greece because I am extremely excited about that, just to get away and relax, it's, it's, it's going to be fun. But appreciate appreciate you guys listening to me, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks. Bye.